All right, guys and gals, this is Northman, and we are back with more Tarkov. This time around, we're testing the primary 5.56 guns, uh, so ADAR, MDR, M4, and HK. Uh, right now, I'm showing some uh, difference in animations, as well as tap fire and full auto. ADAR, obviously, is not full auto, so I just rapid clicked and kind of showed the recoil difference, as well as the fire rate. All right, so we're gonna start with the ADAR, and this one is uh, pretty straightforward. The ADAR is a great single shot weapon uh, as far as um, tap fires and everything like that. You have pretty minimal recoil. You can use this as a pretty basic build and close up hip fires accurate, uh, as well as uh, long range tap fires. You can put a lot of shots really consistently on target. You'll see here, I'm just hip firing every shot here and it's working out pr fairly well getting hits. Unfortunately, we did lose cam there and then Carl actually kills this guy, uh, but it's a funny like instant we both hit him. Uh, anyways, as far as throwing a scope on this, this is the best uh, M4 type weapon to do it with. Uh, this or the MDR, MDR is a little worse. Uh, I think MDR is better as close range, uh, full auto weapon. But you'll see, I can get headshots with this thing. Um, I actually been really liking the L can on it. It's super effective at most ranges, as well as uh, it's quiet um, for a suppressed. Uh, 556 five, it actually seems to be one of the better ones as far as uh, noise level you actually see here on a clip coming up I hide from some a four man and then I spin around headshot two of them in the back of the head uh, when they're running away from me and I'm able to um, actually not have to fight the other two of the four man because they just they have no idea where I was and so they ran off um, as a scab killing gun, it's awesome. The only downside here is you really can't run 855 uh, very consistently against anything out of the ADAR just because you will need follow-up shots with 855. Uh, I highly suggest using the A1s, uh, the 856 or 855A1, obviously. Um, those two I get a stupid amount of kills with. I've actually had uh, like 200 meter headshots bounce off uh, UN helmets and shit using 855 so I don't suggest it uh, when you're using the ADAR. The ADAR though I gotta say I've used it close range I've used it uh, long range and I prefer it long range but it is viable close range uh, especially if you're using the correct ammo. Um, as far as builds go you can use a pretty basic build and it's gonna do very well uh, however you can really crank up the ergo on this you'll see all my clips I'm using a basic build just because it's the build I enjoy using uh, it's low cost and it's effective as far as comparably to the other ones I would say it is definitely the only one I would suggest long range intent only and avoiding close range battles as you can see here I totally couldn't find this guy and then when I did I got two hits on him and he ran away because it is deadly accurate using like that um, also you'll see I can just sit there and plink with it and it destroys people uh, I really do enjoy this gun and you'll see on this next clip I go really rapid fire at range when I can't hit this guy because <laughs> he starts dancing and I get him when he goes into the bush but it takes a few tries uh, here he definitely was out maneuvering me but as he runs up to the bush you'll see I just go all out on him and I drop him on like the third shot it's pretty good all right now on to the m4 the m4 is a pretty much all-around uh, version you can build this however you like DMR or full auto close range CQB gun. Honestly, this thing is pretty killer. Uh, I don't suggest using 855 if you can help it. Um, the full auto is going to help you in close quarters, but that 855 takes a while to eat through. Uh, full auto makes it more viable than with the ADAR, however, so do keep that in mind. It is um, something you can use uh, with this build, but it's not really suggested. Um, 855A1 or 856A1 is still going to be your best bet. You're going to put down people a lot easier. I've gone full auto on people and they've had helmets and I've watched three rounds ricochet off before with 855. So uh, as you can see, going full auto, not the most accurate in base builds. Uh, Semi-auto is pretty ideal if you're anything over 25, 30 yards away. Uh, however, you can make it work, uh, especially because you can build this, uh, the M4s, oh, to be pretty low recoil. I think I've seen a couple builds that get it down to 
something like 40. Uh, it's kind of crazy. All right, so now on to the HK416. Now this is your CQB monster. Uh, this thing, base stats are pretty awesome. Uh, you can tap fire it pretty well. I will give you that. Uh, this thing is usable at range for sure. However, if you're going to do a CQB build, this is the one you should go for. Um, I'm just using a base build, and I am destroying on full auto burst. Uh, tap fires are good, but this thing is a ton of fun in CQB, and I highly suggest it. Again, same ammo rules that apply. If you're going to go CQB, you should be using time. the armor uh, pen stuff. It's going to help you out. It's got a little bit faster fire rate as well, and it's really enjoyable. As far as comparatively against the M4, it's better. You can mod it quite a bit as well, so I highly suggest it for that style. All right, so if you skipped ahead, this is going to be a quick summary. Basically, ADAR is going to be your best all-rounder for long range. Uh, you really are going to only need tap fire for long range. That's why most of the clips are from shoreline with it. M4 is your cheaper all-rounder. Uh, you can mod it up to get it insanely good uh, as far as recoil or ergonomics. So you can do long range shooting or CQB with it very well. And then the HK is going to be the better option for close quarters. It's a little more pricey, but it's got a higher fire rate. And you can get it a little bit uh, better recoil. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos on other weapon families. I will do a exclusive video for the MDR as well as another one for the 300 Blackout MCX, so stay tuned for those, and hope to catch you on the next one.